night, guys. Well, another exciting Saturday night here in the end times begins. That would be Saturday night, November 11th, 2023. It is 11-11, and so I am uh, procrastinating and deciding whether or not to uh, go join the normies on a Saturday night here in Donellan, Florida. I might have another rant coming up for that. <clears throat> but before I <coughs> either head out into normie land or, <coughs> or <coughs> more likely decide to stay here with my thumb up my ass on Saturday night here in this broken down trailer at the end of the road. I, I just have to clear something up, okay? I, I, I just have to get out there and get it off my chest so all of you doomers who are so fascinated by the subject can, uh, can think of something else some other doomer drama to comment about. Now, uh, several of you have been emailing me, apparently, <coughs> wanting to know what is going on with that little eco pussy over there, that other channel, uh, Collapse Chronicles. Uh, who gives a fuck? What do you that? Well, what do you think? Is, is, is Sam Mitchell uh, really giving up on the Doomosphere? I don't give a fuck what that little eco pussy uh, does or not. I, I hope to hell uh, we, we've heard the last of the guy. Alright? Uh, who gives a fuck uh, if that little eco pussy has gotten out of the Doomosphere and uh, which it brings me to uh, a rant that I probably this is just the last straw and, and, a, and a fucking rant that I should have had uh, a couple of weeks ago before I ever left New York although I was uh, you know I was busy packing and, and blah 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 so I really didn't have time to attend to it but I got plenty of time now <clears throat> so uh, this little corona pussy uh, named Michael Campy uh, wrote this hatchet piece on, uh, on Sam Mitchell over at uh, Collapse Chronicles. And while, and, and, and while I really appreciate uh, Michael's hatchet job uh, uh, of that little eco pussy, I, I'm a little pissed off. Apparently, Michael Campion, I don't know who else, does not understand that I, Hambone Littletail, I am the big kahuna of doom. Okay, Michael, or anybody else who doesn't understand who the fuck the big kahuna of doom is, just because... I, I don't talk about all of this doom and gloom shit much anymore on this channel because I figured out uh, t two or three years ago uh, that nobody wants to hear that shit and gave it to that little eco busy just because uh, I, I don't talk uh, about all this doom and gloom shit. Uh, I, I, I don't want anybody to get the jump to the ridiculous conclusion that Hambone Littletail is not a fucking doomer, all right? No matter what that little eco pussy over there at that other channel does or does not do is completely irrelevant uh, to the fact that Hambone Littletail is and always has been the big kahuna of doom. All right, Michael Campy, you are not a doomer. Uh, I like you, brother. You're a corona pussy, okay? Uh, corona pussies 
cannot be doomers. You cannot be a corona pussy and a doomer. It's just that simple. Alright. Uh, <clears throat> anybody calling themselves a, a, a fucking doomer, and, and I will throw the little uh, Empress of Doom uh, herself, Jessica Wildfire, into this category. Jessica Wildfire is not a fucking doomer, okay? She is a corona pussy, and apparently she is an anti-Malthusian, okay? You cannot be an anti-Malthusian and call yourself a fucking doomer. Jessica Wildfire, you're not a fucking doomer. You're a breeder. You're a corona pussy. Uh, you're, uh, you're anti-Malthusian. Uh, good fucking God. Okay, doomer. Uh... Good God, it, it is, <clears throat> what do I need to say to anybody to convince you that I, Hambone Little Tail, am the big kahuna of doom? Even fucking uh, Andy the Gardener, uh, you know, if, if I have a right-hand man in the doom is for even fucking Andy the Gardener uh, got a goddamn uh, corona panic vaccine. Uh, it's, you know, I, I try to give Andy a pass for getting the goddamn corona panic vaccine while uh, I think I remember Andy stating the obvious that the only problem with the fucking corona panic is that it did not have a fatality rate of 100%. Any fucking body calling themselves a doomer and, and, and then whining that the corona panic is killing too many fucking humans clearly is not a fucking doomer. Okay? The, the problem with the corona panic is, as I'm pretty sure Andy the Gardener pointed out, uh, right, probably on the day he got his vaccine uh, to protect himself from it, and uh, I won't get into to, to that that whole AZ vaccine uh, rant. Uh, is that the Corona pan <coughs> <coughs> has not killed enough humans? Okay. The reason that there are things like viruses uh, on, on the planet is to keep species from going in to overshoot. You cannot sit here and, and whine uh, about fucking humans and overshoot out of one side of your fucking mouth and then outside of the other side of your fucking mouth whine that that little pussy virus is killing too many humans. Okay? You're not a fucking doomer. Alright? You're just not a doomer. Uh, you're a lot of things, but you're not a fucking doomer. You, you sure as hell ain't the fucking big kahuna of doom. Alright? I am in 100% support of a virus uh, whether it's natural, zoonotic, created in a fucking lab by a nine-year-old Hindu boy in a fucking mud hut, it needs to have a fatality rate of 100% and kill every motherfucking human on this goddamn planet, certainly including me. I want every motherfucking human on this goddamn planet dead by morning. Alright? If you're listening to this, I want you and me dead by fucking morning. Alright? I, I, I am sick and tired of, 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 of fucking humans. I'm sick and tired of them. I, I'm sick and tired of their fucking plastic bottles 
Uh, I, I'm sick and tired of their fucking gas sucking cars. I, I'm sick and tired of their fucking strip malls, their fucking subdivisions, their, 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 their fucking cities, uh, their fucking wars, their fucking bombs, uh, the whole fucking bit of it. Uh, I, 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 I'm sick and fucking tired of it. Uh, and I, I am a, you know, bring on the collapse of everything, bring on the extinction of the fucking human race. I want fucking Greenland to melt uh, by, by tomorrow. Now, I want to see every fucking coastal city on this goddamn planet go 50 feet under fucking water to, by tomorrow. Alright, I, I want to see goddamn sea turtles nesting in this yard in Dunnellan, Florida, 40 miles inland from the fucking ocean. All right, you know we we we're probably gonna lose a few sea turtles, lose a few penguins uh, as collateral damage. But if the goddamn oceans could just fucking rise fifty feet by tomorrow, uh, that would take care. Of, uh, that would be a good fucking start. All right, I am a huge fan of sea level rise. Bring on the fucking sea level rise. The more, the sooner, the better. You know, and while I say I'm sick and tired of fucking war, I mean, as long as, long as we're a bunch of fucking warmongers, let's do it fucking right. Let's pull out all the fucking stops. And uh, they're, they're, they're all those goddamn bombs uh, that we're sending over there to Israel and shit. Let's, let's, it takes one fucking bomb to blow that fucking Temple of the Mount off of the top of Mount Sinai and, and, and get this fucking rumble going into high gear. Bring all fucking Armageddon. <clears throat> I, 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 will, I, I will pay my taxes uh, this year, if if, uh, if Joe Biden promises to buy one fucking bomb with Hambone Little Tail's name on it to to blow the fuck uh, that, that temple on the mount wherever the fuck it is. All right, let's get these biblical prophecies uh, rolling. Uh, you know, we need more Acapulcos on this planet, and, 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 and we need more Gaza Strips on the planet. Uh, Gaza Strip is what the fuck happens when you got 2.3 million fucking people uh, crammed in uh, to a little sliver of desert that should at most have 10,000 fucking people in it. Well, it should have zero people in it. Uh, someone sent me this great uh, cartoon. I can't remember which one of you sent me this great cartoon. Who was it? I'm sorry. I can't remember who this was who sent me this cartoon. It had these three panels. The first one was Life. Was it something like... Uh, I can't remember, his life without something, uh, and, and it was just this total fucking wreckage, and then the second panel was life without pollinators, and it was this blackened, wasted landscape, and the third panel of the cartoon was life without humans, or the world without, that's right, the world, what would the first one be, the world without Whatever. Well, you know, what one of the many things that that humans are destroying uh, on, on, on the planet. Uh, if we finish destroying whatever that first one was, what the planet's going to look like? What the planet's going to look like after we've killed all the pollinators? And then the third panel is what the planet would look like 
without fucking humans, and of course looking like a goddamn Garden of Eden. Uh, you know, there, there, there is one fucking problem on this goddamn planet is fucking humans. It's time for fucking humans to go. If you do not, if you are not a fan of the 100% extinction of the human race by tomorrow morning, by whatever means necessary, you are not the big kahuna of doom. Okay, uh, now we are, thank God, uh, driving ourselves to extinction. Everything we're doing is driving ourselves to extinction, just not fast enough because we're going to take, uh, you know, every one of our fellow earthlings down b before we blissfully go out of here. Uh, you know, bring on whatever, uh, be, you know, viruses, sea level rise, uh, goddamn uh, war, pestilence, starvation. Th these are all things to keep populations in check. The, the four horsemen of the apocalypse is just simply uh, another term for overshoot checks. So you cannot sit here, call yourself a fucking doomer, and, and, and whine about uh, overshoot and, and, and sit there and, and, and bitch whenever anything comes along to bring down the overshoot. You're not a fucking doomer. You're not making any fucking sense. Okay? Is, is there anything else that, 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 that I can... I mean, I can go on all fucking night long uh, explaining why Hambone Littletail is the big fucking kahuna of doom. Anyway, I just wanted, uh, I, I simply needed to make this amplification and clarification if there's anybody thinking because that little eco pussy uh, over there at that other channel is, is acting like uh, that he is, uh, that he's dropping out of the doomosphere. He's done with doom scrolling. And, uh, and, and, and is going to go join the, the, the fucking normies. So now that I've gotten that off my chest and I see it is 7.30 on a Saturday night, the big kahuna of doom uh, has to decide uh, whether he wants to get in his gas-sucking truck and, and go to the big selection of normie watering holes uh, within, within 10 minutes of where I'm sitting. There are throngs of fucking normies uh, out doing what normies do on Saturday night. And so we will see if the big kahuna of doom uh, is, is, is ready to, to join his fellow humans doing what fucking humans do. Did I miss anything? I guess that covers it. I hope you understand and there's no more no more no more emails uh, about whether that eco pussy is ever coming back to the doomosphere or not. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. Bye, guys.